Okay, Nick Houston here at the Gotham Expo with Blair from Electrosonics. How you doing, Blair? Great. It's oh. so great to get out of the house. Thanks for having us here. And Thanks so for coming. It's so great to see the community. It is like the beginning of the new world, whatever the new world whatever is. The new I world don't is. know. It's a beautiful fall day here in New York City. It's so. awesome. Where, and where are you, did you come in from today? Baltimore is where Baltimore. I'm based out of here. All right, East Coast. Yes. Perfect. So I know, um, you know, you brought a smattering of things here. Uh, so just, you know, you can run us down the line real quick and just say this is this and that is that. Sure. But let's really, we'll wind up focusing on this side of the table. Okay. Uh, so why don't you give us a, just so a quick. So we'll start on this side. Yeah. Um, and this is the DBSMD. Oh, you're shooting there. Yeah. Okay. This is the DBSMD. That's our double battery digital transmitter. Mm -hmm. It covers 470 to 608, mm -hmm. um, which when you see the RF scan of 470 to 608, you'll see that you need all of that bandwidth uh -huh. these days. Okay, great. Um, uh, with those two batteries, you get about 12 hours on a lithium. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a, it's an extreme runtime. It stays cool. It's efficient. Um, it is a really powerhouse of a transmitter. And full digital, right? Full digital. Yeah. Okay. Here, let me just switch this one yeah. next to it. And, and then one. this is the darling here. This is the DBSM, mm -hmm. which is the single battery version of that digital mm -hmm. transmitter. Um, also a powerhouse, and you'll make it to lunch on a single lithium battery okay. with that transmitter. And again, you get 470 to 608 mm -hmm. on that single uh, transmitter, which is, it's just the new world that we live in. Speaking of the new world, uh -huh. the RF is just a real nightmare. Seems more so every single day. Mm, got it. All right, and so then we've got this transmitter. And that's the classic SSM. Uh, we'll leave the RF off for now. Uh, it's, it is a classic, you know, it's our super small miniature transmitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, digital um, hybrid. It's a digital hybrid, mm -hmm. yeah. It is, it is compatible with all of our receivers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's very popular in, you know, uh, theater, uh -huh. theater applications, and of course film. It's just tiny, yep. it's small, it, you know, easy to hide, it, it stays relatively cool. Um, it runs on an NP50 battery. Mm -hmm. Great. I will let's move on to this one. I'm going with all transmitters uh, right yeah. now. Yeah, here's the DPR. Mm -hmm. And the DPR is a dual battery plug-on transmitter. Um, and that covers 470 to 608. Mm -hmm. We also have another version of the plug-on transmitter with an external uh, SMA antenna. Uh -huh. So that's the DPRA. Got and this, this is the uh, classic design without the external antenna. Um, and again, that covers 470 to 608. Great, and so just quickly, this, this is a reasonably new antenna. It is reasonably new. That's the ALP 690. Um, it has, uh, it's an active antenna, it has gain, you can go negative 6, you 2 plus 12. Up, yeah. But open up to camera so yeah. that they can see you and the antenna. So this ALP 690 has a uh, built-in gain, you can go negative 6, 2 plus 12, um, and you know, the thing about active antennas and gain structures is, you know, not about, you know, boosting your signal, but it's really about cable run and RF overload. So you you know it's it's something that if you haven't yet you know learned about it's worth researching. Um, I think there's you know if you're running a hundred feet of cable, a particular cable, you're gonna want to find out exactly how much RF you're losing and boost the gain this way. If you're sending too much RF then you can go on the negative um, with the active antenna. But this is a powerhouse directional antenna. It's really awesome. And it's filtered too, right? And it it's does have filters, built yep. So it's gonna filter out um, 470 to 608 or 470 to 700, depending on which what you're using. Great. All right. Perfect. So now let's get into we'll get into IFB land quick. Um, so tell me a little bit about these lines here. These guys are the M2R. That is uh, part of our duet system. That's a stereo IEM. Yeah. Um, so. It's, yeah. They're they're designed really for live performance. But the film application and broadcast application is, is growing and people are using it more and more because of the powerful transmitter side of it and the fact that you can, in a half rack on the transmitter side, either have two different stereo IEM sends or four mono sends. Right. So. And just to, to point that out, that's, that's the M2T right here. That's the two uh, 
two stereo channel transmitter. And then it also works with the DCHT, right? That's right. So the DCHT can also send uh, a duet signal or a stereo signal to the M2R or the DCHR. So we're kind of like in a little land here of stereo transmission and reception. Um, and again, these M2Rs can be, you can listen to one or the other channel or both channels. So you can have a left or right um, or both. So that's, that's nice. Uh, you can change that on the receiver side. Mm -hmm. And another cool feature to show is that these trans, because these are receivers, you can do a scan. Um, and you can do it, so you can use this as kind of a portable scanner. Mm. And you can bring that scan back and send it to your M2T and then put it in wireless designer to do a coordination. So as you have to keep the, trans the receiver on, but uh, I think that's a really cool application. You know, say you're going on a scout, even just to glance at the RF, which, as you can see, is uh, rather scary here. It's almost like you have a bunch of wireless microphone manufacturers in one little room. Almost, yeah. Welcome to New York. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about things that are a little bit uh, old and then new. So back here, right, we've got the the IFBR1B and its new uh, cousin, the IF Blue. That's right. So let's yeah. talk about the IF Blue a little bit. Okay, so IF Blue is our most recently released product. This product is a whole new brand. It's designed by Electrosonics. Um, you can see here it's, uh, it runs on double A's, either alkaline or rechargeable. It has a super long run time. Um, what's cool is, is that with those rechargeable double A's is that those rechargeable double A's can just recharge in the dock. So, you, you know, it's, it, it gives you the versatility of double A's, but it also gives you that kind of, uh, you don't have to mess around with all of your rechargeable batteries that fly all over the place. You can throw it at the, in the dock at the end of the day, and the runtime is about one full day on those fully charged rechargeables, you know, depending, of course, how old your rechargeables are, which is something we always have to consider. And how long your day is. And how long your day yeah. is, yes. If it's 16 or 18 hours, you might not make it the whole day. Okay. And what's the sound quality like? Is there any difference between the IF Blue and the R1B? Well, the guts are about the same. They, they, sound, they both sound really good. They have a pretty low noise floor, and um, the reports from the field are that they're, they're, they're awesome. And yeah, and they are awesome, as it turns out. Yeah, and the, uh, and the big selling point for the IF Blue versus the R1B is that the, the Blue is about a little bit more than half the cost, right? That's right. So that's, that was our whole intention, was to design a product um, that is more accessible uh, so that it can get out in the world. Okay. We like to see our products out in the world and working. Great. Um, so it's just a little more accessible for, for everyone. Great. Um, so now, last but not least, just tell me a little bit. Of, you were very proud about this kind of fly pack that you've got over here. Uh, just tell me a little bit about what you've got and how much it weighs and all that. Just the, the rack yeah. mount unit. So we've got a Surface Pro here, which is a, a Microsoft version of an iPad. Uh -huh. um, and that is networked in with Dante and with a network control of uh, D squared, an M2T, a Venue 2, and down below that we just have a power distro, the RPS4, uh -huh. which is really great for a nice clean rack setup uh, to do your power distro. So all in all, we have uh, Dante capability that you can run through this uh, Surface Pro tablet um, and do your coordination uh, here in Wireless Designer. And the, the frequency coordination with Wireless Designer is can be as simple as really just pushing a few buttons. So mm -hmm. we can do a coordination and it can process. It's going to automatically coordinate your channels. You can see how complicated this RF is. You can see that it's doing the seventh uh, order intermods there. And then once it's coordinated, you just deploy that to the system. And there you go. And you'll see my channels going offline because we just re-coordinated and it was you know, also mm -hmm considering the transmitters that we have sitting on the table. But um, yeah, this is a really efficient and powerful program, Wireless yeah. Designer. And if you haven't gotten your hands on it, it's free. You can download it from our website. 
and uh, it connects to all, our, all of our new products. But you can also manually put in channels and it will consider um, the, the intermods and of uh, seventh order and fifth order and even third order if you want to turn those on. Um, and so in the flight case here, we have 10 channels of wireless, uh, we have six channels of digital hybrid, mm -hmm. and four channels of digital or digital hybrid. It's a reverse, it's a backwards compatible. And then we have uh, two channels of stereo IEM, which we talked about, which could also be four mono channels of IFB signal. Well, not IFB signal, but uh, the digital mono mixes. Mm -hmm. um, and so total weight on this flight case, 10 channels of uh, wireless receiver, and those uh, two channels of stereo IEMs, and the power distro is 18 pounds. So that's you know something that could go on a cart or go on a flight. It can you know go above. It could even fit above uh, uh, the uh, seats in, in an airplane. In the carry on. Ah, I yeah. see. So they're not even going to charge you an extra check uh, for extra weight for that many channels of wireless. That's right. Great. Awesome. Uh, Blair, anything else we should know? Gosh, I'm just so happy to be out of the house and see the community <laughs> and see everyone out here and talk to people. And it's like, you know, it's one step towards getting back to a, a regular life. And, you know, I'm just so happy to hear that uh, sound mixers are so busy. The industry's booming. Um, and, and yeah, I am really am happy to be out of the house. And thanks for having awesome. me. Awesome. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, Blair is the electrosonics rep for the Northeast. Uh, so he's very accessible. Um, but we'll wrap things up now, but obviously, you know, you're known. Um, thank, no questions? Great. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, you can watch these videos and more at gothamsound.tv. You can follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, and if you have any questions or want to arrange a demo, uh, email us at info at gothamsound.com. Thank you, Blair, again. Thank you, Nick. All right.